for anyone worried about going bald. That includes about one in three American men and more surprisingly, 30 million American women who are losing some of their hair too. Now there's an innovative treatment that could help them hide their thinning hair with ink. And our consumer correspondent, Elizabeth Leamy, has checked it out. This is no tattoo parlor, but Mike Thurnblom is getting ink injected under his skin. The high-tech needle makes tiny, irregular marks just like natural hair follicles. So here's your actual hair follicles, and up here we have some replicated hair follicles. Mike has classic male pattern baldness with the hair receding in front and an empty patch in back. It is kind of a depressing feeling, and it's something you can't control, and it's just changing. Mike's wife watches as he gets the first of more than 10,000 marks on his scalp. It's not very painful, but you notice it. The idea is to make it seem like Mike has a full head of hair, but has just chosen the buzzed look. Have a seat right here. Just down the hall, Nassim Mobin is about to get the treatment, too. Five years ago, her hair started thinning drastically on top. I was so sad I wanted to cry um, every time I go out I wear hat all the time try to cover up whatever I can Nassim's treatment takes all day eight hours because the goal is to mark her entire head so there's no longer a contrast between her dark hair and white scalp I'm excited to see what it looks like now. Both procedures are being performed at a company outside Minneapolis called Good Look Inc. A lot of people thought, what? Are you doing what? Owner Darren Gurr and his partner say they perfected the hair replication process on themselves. Here's Darren's own hair before and after. Good Look Inc. has treated about a thousand people since 2008. The seeing is believing aspect is the truth. And that's why we've been able to be doing this today. And that's why people are leaving here happy. Okay, here she comes, the new Nassim. Oh, Remember, this is what Nassim's hair looked like before. Compare that to how it looks now. Quite a difference. It was amazing, the transformation that I've seen. It looks so much better. I love it. But is Nassim's new do convincing to our ultra close-up camera? It looks like a full head of hair. Now Mike's turn. How do you like it? I really like it. It's so natural. Nobody has noticed. Nobody has asked me or noticed yet. But it sure is noticeable when you look back at Mike's before pictures and contrast them with the ones taken afterward. Once again, we use our close-up cam to see if we can detect anything artificial. I want to see if I'm convinced, and man, I am. <laughs> The final test is whether Mike's wife likes his new look. We are going to reintroduce Mike Thurnbaum. What do you think? <laughs> really, really natural and wow. So he's Wonderful. got the wifely seal of approval. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> I think That's it turned important. out great. great. Hot date tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At Good Look Inc., the procedure, which is officially called cosmetic transdermal hair replication, costs between $500 and $5,000, depending how much of your head is being treated. And prices at other companies that offer similar procedures are in that range, too. So it's not cheap, but it really does work. That was amazing. I was worried, but I was impressed.